It is no question that we have a lot of people who have been playing Warframe for years and still don't know how to play Limbo. Though the recent brute work has made him squad friendly, but still it can be very difficult mastering a frame like Limbo. So today I will be sharing with you how to play and master the frame. Limbo is quite fragile but also very powerful, and I will explain what that means. It means without his moves and abilities, a Limbo will surely die in any single hit. But when played right, others will tremble at your feet, for they have witnessed the true strength of a god. He is an offensive CC frame and you should treat him as such. He is what you would call a sorcerer, a warlock, or a mage, and it works very well with high duration. But before we get into the depths of that, let's start with the basics of Limbo. The Rift is the basis of Limbo's powers and what Limbo uses the Rift for is to separate and isolate his targets. Imagine trying to get a boss down and that one annoying scorpion keeps snatching at you or that annoying mower keeps stomping you. Limbo excels at removing enemies like that or removing and separating the boss from the main battle temporarily. So this is one of the great things about Limbo. Limbo does this by banishing his targets. A great way to explain this is with his first ability. You can literally cast it on any enemy and that will teleport the enemy into a different dimension. This means that the enemy will not be able to attack or interact with anything in the current dimension. It's like a football game or a basketball game. Banishing an enemy is like putting them on the sidelines and Limbo is the referee who is being paid by the other team. You as a Limbo have a passive that lets you go on and off that field. And in other words, Limbo can go in and out of that dimension which is the rift plane. So Limbo can go in and out of the rift. This is so good because if any enemy gets too difficult for you to handle, you can banish them till you recover, get some health, get some energy. And it can also be used for enemies who are running to sound the alarm in a spy mission or any single mission. So banish is an ability that lets you play chess with the enemy, literally. Now on the next we have stasis, which is going to be your second ability. Stasis is your eye of Agamotto. This is your time stone, literally. Stasis grants Limbo the ability to stop time for all enemies within the rift. This means you can put an enemy you recently banished into a timeout. You can even stop their bullets too if you want to. This is the most important ability for Limbo and you have to remember that. Being able to control time opens up a lot of possibilities. When you banish an enemy, they can still hurt you if you are in the same dimension as them. So to make sure that this is not happening or you are not being crippled by your own power, it is important to cast stasis first before you cast any other ability. So always remember, cast your two first before anything else. This means that every enemy you banish will automatically freeze the moment you banish them. And in this way, you can cast stasis. Then, of course, like I said earlier, other abilities can follow. The good thing about this is that enemies like heavy gunners who can shake off status effects can be killed easily. If you ever pay attention to heavy gunners, when you shoot them with maybe a lot of corrosive, toxin, or viral, they tend to do this slam that actually wards off those status effects, but when you banish them and they are in stasis, what really happens is that they stand still, and when they stand still, that means you can pile up a bunch of status and it will kill them within seconds. So this is a great way to actually utilize Limbo's second ability and his first ability if you want to combine that together. Now that you have understand what that is, let's get into synergies. Synergies is where Limbo excels the most. Synergies is what really shows Limbo's true potential and his power. His third ability is called Rift Surge. Rift Surge is like giving enemies a virus, and if they die while under the effect of that virus, they spread that virus to other enemies. That is basically how Rift Surge works. Rift Surge is the next level of being able to control the battlefield. You can cast it on enemies that are in the rift, and if they die, it spreads to others outside that rift. This is like Sarin's spores. If an enemy has the spores and they die, 
they spread the effects of that spore. So with Rift Surge, at least one enemy has to be inside the Rift, which means one or more enemies have to be banished first. So all you have to do in this situation is to banish enemies. Don't forget to cast Stasis first. Remember, Stasis is very important. Then after you cast Stasis, you banish the enemies, then you can cast Rift Surge. Kill those enemies, and then you will see this wave of enemies being put to a standstill outside the Rift. Now this is also a very powerful ability. So now that we understand how the third one works, let's move to the fourth one which is the ultimate. Cataclysm is a way for you to create a big banish bubble. Imagine banish, but instead of a single or double target, you can do it on a massive scale. The good thing about this is that this is stronger than Frost Snow Globe because this ability literally blocks everything outside. Your entire team can stay inside and be safe. So how do you use this ability? Well, to use this ability effectively, all you do is you cast Stasis, which is your two, and then you cast Cataclysm, which is your four, and then you cast Rift Surge, which is your three. In other words, you cast two, four, three. Remember, two, four, three. That's the sequence of casting those abilities. So if an enemy dies inside that rift bubble, they will spread the rift effect to enemies outside of that bubble in all directions. And because you have your stasis already casted, all those enemies will hit a standstill as well. Very simple, isn't it? I'm telling you, Limbo is actually quite simple to play as long as it is explained perfectly well. So now that you know the 243 combination, let's get into the modding and ending strategies for Limbo. Limbo can gain energy while in the rift. Limbo can become invincible while in the rift. Modern Limbo for range is only good in Grenier tile sets, not for Corpus tile sets. If you mod Limbo for range and Corpus tile sets, Cataclysm will have its own kryptonite, mainly because Corpus nullifier bubbles will pop your Cataclysm bubble, so it is very important to understand that. So it is best to keep Limbo at base range when you mod him, but of course, you want to give him a high duration. Mods like Natural Talent is great on Limbo because it will speed up your cast animation. Mods like Rolling Guard works wonders with Limbo because Rolling Guard gives you a few seconds of invulnerability when you step outside the rift or you're running out of duration. So Rolling Guard is a great mod to use on Limbo. You always want to build for duration and maybe a little power strength, but mostly it's going to be duration first. Limbo is very versatile frame for buffing allies, controlling the field, making defensive targets invulnerable. He is great for spy missions, interception, survival. In other words, Limbo is great for everything, but you have to be wise when you play Limbo, you have to think about things, and also always remember your 243 combination. It has a very low armor rating, so a hit to the face will likely kill Limbo, so you have to pay attention to that. Now, with that said, I hope this helps you in understanding Limbo and of course how to master the frame. Thanks for watching this video, and don't forget to check out other mastering videos on the channel as well. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.